In this video, we're gonna show you how to actually create a Facebook ad and promote an agent's listing. And this will work if it's your listing or another agent's listing. So first thing I did was I came to Command and I went to KW and I went to Campaigns. Under Campaigns and Paid Ads, we're gonna say Create New Campaign. Now, I'm gonna create a social ad, which would be paid ads for Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. I'm focusing specifically on Facebook. So I'm gonna say social ad, and I'm gonna put the address. So the address of the property I'm advertising is 2556 Southeast 10th Street, and I can even say Pompano Beach, and I can put in like just listed. This is my ability to, whatever the title of this is, it's my ability to put that in the note of the new lead that comes in the system. Now I'm looking to either advertise this listing or attract buyers for this listing would be one idea. Now I'm advertising this listing and this is going to help me pull the information instantly into the system. Now I'm targeting it for Facebook specifically. There are the options to include Instagram and Twitter at the same time, but for this focus, I'm just choosing Facebook. So we're gonna set up campaign. This is the first step. Now it's going to create the ad for me and it's gonna ask me, hey, which property are you looking for? Now, if it's your listing, it'll show up under my listings. In the event it's brand new, sometimes it takes a little while to show up in this list. So here's the trick. Switch this to all listings. This will search for every property for sale in all of the world. However, make sure you have permission if it's not your listing. So in my area, my board requires I have written permission, which I have from an agent to do this. So I'm gonna type in the address, 2556 Southeast 10th Street, and search for it, and here it is with Denise Stewart, an agent in our office, and Jackie Mogavera, who has given me permission to advertise this listing. So I'm going to select that listing. This is going to allow me to pull it in, and notice it pre-populated the information, like the price, a picture of the home, whatever the first one was, and some descriptions in here from the MLS automatically. I love that feature. So here, I've already got it, ocean access, no fixed bridges, located just a few homes off the intercoastal, Pompano Beach Isles, so it's got a lot of information in here and I can edit it or leave it as it is. For this example, it's not bad, I might just leave it. So what would be my headline? So notice the main copy text can go up to 250 characters. You can add things like emojis right here if you need to find an emoji, you can add those. And that's gonna be above the image. Then I'm gonna have a picture and then it says headline. That goes directly above it. This should be some kind of call to action or information. I like to do a little bit about the property. So I might say three bed, three bath, 75 foot direct canal views or tie in something like that. I think I'll actually change this to three bedroom, three bath, ocean access, home, and then I'm gonna put the price in here because this will help me narrow it down to who's actually looking for this type of home. That would be an example. Of course, you can put in other headlines. If you Google what's the best kind of capturing and what words work, that'd be a great way to get some ideas of what else you could put down there. I like putting in what kind of things we have, ocean access, home, 129, I might put in here though, Pompano Isles. So maybe I've changed this instead, Pompano Isles. Perfect, so I've got that information in here and then description, because I'm gonna use the Facebook lead capture form, it won't do much here, so I'm just gonna use the suggestion. You can put in some information down here, it goes below the link, but if you use the lead capture form, which we're going to, this section gets ignored. So that would be my first step and I'm gonna save that text. Then I'm gonna to come to media. Now we have one picture. I can switch this to be a video, so if you have a video promotion, that does better. However, I'm gonna do the image and I'm gonna add multiple images to create a carousel effect. So here I'm gonna to come to add more and here are all the different photos. So since we know this is a very nice home in the area, I might highlight some stuff like they wanna know that it's got a pool and water access. So I'm going to preview and crop that image. 
and I love that it showcases the pool and that it's on the intercoastal. Next, I'm going to come in here and highlight some other features. So maybe I want to highlight kitchens always do well if it is nice and updated. So I will go grab the image of the kitchen and add that. I've got the ability to come in here and choose up to about five or six photos. So I might come in and find one of these others. We've got some bathrooms here. It doesn't look like they're as updated as others. So I may skip those and really focus on the area of what we have. So I might just use the aerial shot to showcase where is this home located. And they can see a better idea of the home and the water showcasing a boat as well. So I'm going to save that. This will give them a little idea of what the home looks like and to contact us for more information. I can reorder these images. There we go. Put it in the order that I want. It has an office logo here, which is already included because of my marketing, which will go in the corner. And I'm going to save that media and it's going to become a slideshow, which I love. Next, I'm going to come to the Facebook. This is where we configure the Facebook. Notice right now the preview says Keller Williams. This is going to change. So I have my account connected, which we'll have to do under settings. And I'm going to come to the page for J Team Global here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Notice it changed to my branding now and my Facebook page name. So now that's changed that. And then I'm going to come down to Facebook lead generation form. If I use the form, Facebook automatically captures their name, number, and email address with what Facebook has on file or what the person has told Facebook their information is. It saves the consumer a step. They don't have to type anything in. That's the best one, especially when promoting a new listing or something new in an area to capture leads. You can send them to another website. However, it doesn't give you the same results. If they go to the other website, I can't promise they're going to register or confirm what they're doing. So I'm going to stick with use Facebook lead generation form. There is the option to learn more, sign up or apply now. Learn more works the best. So where do you send them once they've given you the name, number and information? Well, now I'm going to send them to my website. So here's what I do. I go to my website and I find the home for sale. Here it is. It's got a lot of great photos. And I'm actually going to choose this property link to copy that link, come over here, and I'm going to paste it in there. So once they've filled out the form, they're going to come here. Next, we go to targeting. Now, targeting, if you use a listing, we'll put an address so they know it's in Pompano Beach and we'll go within 20 miles. This can be changed. I can use custom settings and update this to say, you know what, Pompano Beach is correct, or type in a different area if I want to target maybe clients moving from New York to Pompano Beach. Maybe I want to target people moving from the West Coast to the East Coast in Florida or west of like Coral Springs area over to Pompano Beach. I can bring them over and just reach to the people who are likely to be interested in this home. Change the radius. You can go as close as 15 miles and you can go as far as 50 miles. I'm going to stay within 15 to 20 miles to attract a range of people. And then you can add targeting. Now you can leave it alone and Facebook is smart enough to get it in front of the right people or I might add some interests that matter to people. So an interest could be, you know what, if you're looking for a home and you're online, you may like Zillow. So I could type in Zillow and target people who are on Facebook and like Zillow. Realtor.com is another one that I would do. Realtor.com and Trulia. Those three are common things that if you're on those websites and Facebook, you're more commonly interested in real estate. Now, there is not an option though for boats or waterfront or things like that. They've changed a lot of the restriction to what's in here. However, if it was a different one, then you can play around with those different areas. Who might be interested in this home? Maybe it's home repair, home remodel, things like that. Go through the list and see what works, but mainly those are the three I'm going to use. So save and continue. Save on Facebook. And then the duration and budget, it says 10 days is the default for $30, which is basically $3 a day. That should get you enough of a leads, but you can increase that budget or decrease it or keep the budget and lower the amount of days. Once I'm done, I set duration and budget. I preview what this looks like. When they click the learn more button, it is going to populate their name, number, and email address. And all they have to do is click next when they do the next button, it will take them to this website, brand it to me to get some more information, talk to me about it, save some money with Keller Mortgage and things like that. 
and then it will allow them to get the information and contact me. Once you're done, you hit publish campaign and this will actually publish it and it will go to the campaign system. It takes a little while for it to approve within 24 hours and then it will start running within that time. And it will run for the 10 days in this case until the $30 is spent. That's how you can do a Facebook ad by promoting your listing or another agent's listing in there. Stay tuned for other tips and tricks on how to change your, your wording, how to get a, a catchy tagline and headline that will get people to take action through this. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KBit Connect and YouTube today.